first time picking up a hammer, I was probably 12, um, and I tried to add my local legs clubs camp during the summer and really liked it and then just kind of said it to my neighbour. Um, I was at his daughter's communion and he brought in his like 7 kg hammer, <laughs> um, Kevin, and he said he coached me. So then we kind of took it a bit more seriously and I started throwing it in my garden. I probably the SAB schools, um, I guess. That was my first Irish Irish vest, so that was kind of my first time getting to travel abroad and kind of see other, other countries and other people doing it. Probably a national national medal, I guess. My first national senior medal when I was 16 was probably one of the most most special ones because it was during COVID, so it was quite a, a different different championships. But um, that was really special to me. You never know which event you're going to be good at, so I tried it and really enjoyed it. So just kept working at it. I think when you enjoy something, you're happy to train it, and it just it really helps. And yeah, always looking for the next day, looking forward to training. I know Keith, the Irish Irish hammer thrower. She's the national record holder, and she's done. You know, she's really, really high up there. Jeez, I think there's a lot of them. Even in Ireland, there's so many. But I guess in terms of hammer, probably Anita. The she's a world record holder. She's um, she's just so resilient. Like she's had so many injuries over the years, and she's always just come back, and she still always manages to pull it out in the end. I think it's just. It is just that big competition that everyone that everyone knows about and to be able to go out there and compete it would be very, very special.